What's up everybody? Mitch Vanderbond here. This is brand new territory for me, but I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I made a sleeping platform for the back of my Jeep. If you like the outdoors, skiing, hiking, camping, you just have a bunch of gear that you need stored, this is the thing for you because this helped me out a ton. I think it came out great. It was super affordable to do. And there wasn't a whole lot of information out there on how to do it. So I hope this is informative and helpful. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I came up with. Hey everybody, so we're at the Jeep. Um, wanted to kind of give you some backstory. So the reason I came up with this uh, is me and my fiance are going to Canada. And so we're gonna be doing a bunch of hiking, uh, driving around uh, British Columbia, and uh, kind of work our way down back through the United States, hit a bunch of national parks. And so the challenge was how do you sleep out of your car um, without having to set up a tent? Um, and then how do you get your gear in there? So uh, kind of you know, did a bunch of research online and realized that kind of an elevated platform would kind of accomplish both goals for me. Um, and so I want to show you guys kind of how it came out. So here we go. So this thing is made out of plywood. I got it from the local hardware store and it breaks down into basically three panels. Uh, you got the front panel um, and then you got these two rear panels. Um, the rear panels can actually fit completely behind the second seat of the Jeep, so when I want to stow it and I'm not using it, you can actually fit everything right in the back here. Um, I basically had to custom fit uh, these two panels to fit the frame of the Jeep. As you can see, there's kind of some plastic um, that pops out here. So what I did was I actually traced with cardboard the shape, and then I transferred that to the plywood. And once I did that, I jigsawed it and then did a router to really kind of get the edges to fit the frame. So that was the most uh, labor intensive part. This thing's actually on two by fours. So you got these supporting legs down here, one on each side, and then the two by four runs across the bottom of the, the plates here. And it's all held together with just these little bolts, these little drop bolts. I believe there's three eighths by three or four inches. And so you actually drill right through the, the two by four underneath and then boom eight of those and you're done let's go up to the front panel here so the other important element to the sleeping platform is the front part of the platform um, this allows most of the support when you're laying down and so what I had to do was find a way uh, for us to not only use the car but also uh, maximize the space so um, the bucket seats, they actually slide forward another 10 to 12 inches, and so that will allow us to really get this extended uh, to allow you know, a good, good sized person to fit in here. Um, you can see right now, there's the overlap. That actually is flush on the back. And then on the front here, we got about a two by one board, I believe it is, with a couple little bolts in the side. And so the bolt mechanism, I've attached a couple carabiners, so that actually allows it to swing back and forth and really extend that board forward. Uh, but you can see this little webbing is attached right to the frame of the Jeep and so that allows um, some flexibility there. Another thing you'll see in the front here is this little hinge system I had set up. So this board is actually in three parts and so I connected it to allow gear access. So you can see I've kind of already started packing for the Canada trip. We're maximizing every cubic foot of this place. Um, but this allows flexibility to get underneath when you are uh, needing to access your gear, uh, but at the same time get good stability. So there you have it. Uh, that's kind of the custom platform I came up with. Um, we haven't used it yet, but I will put another video at some point showing how it actually worked. Um, but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's totally doable for anybody with an SUV or a cab of a truck or any space um, and they want to maximize both the gear and sleeping. Um, there is a memory foam insert. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be glamping with my fiance. She'd probably appreciate that. So actually that goes on top too. So still kind of working out the details, but wanted to show you what it look, looks like in person. Um, and yeah, if you got any questions, uh, put them in the comments.